Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for another Movie Monday. Today, we're going to be checking out the poll winner for the month of April, and that is Mad Max Fury Road. This one won by one vote. It was neck and neck between this and The Last Wish, the Puss in Boots movie, <laughs> which is such a stark contrast between the two. But that said, I'm excited to check this one out. This has been one that I feel like it's been a long time coming. I've never seen a Mad Max movie, but much like with Blade Runner, which I have also not seen, I'm kind of familiar with the aesthetic and the overall idea, but I've never actually sat down and watched any of these films. And my understanding is that this one is kind of disconnected from the previous ones, because I know there's a series of older films that obviously kind of set the stage for this entire world, and this was kind of this reintroduction to the world itself. But as far as I understand, Continuity wise, this is kind of just its own story and feel free to correct me if that's incorrect But I'm excited to check this out. I know we got a new one coming out around the corner called Furiosa I saw the trailers for that when I was out seeing Dune and stuff like that It looks pretty wild very stylistic very interesting But I, as far as I remember I do remember the trailers for this when it was coming out and I believe that character is in, introduced in this film and then this is that movie coming out in the future here coming up is is the backstory of this character. And I think Tom Hardy's in this. I may be wrong about that. Those are the only little tidbits of this movie that I remember from seeing the trailers and stuff when this was coming out. But I'm excited to check it out. So we're going to go ahead and hop in. Remember, if you want to see the following three action, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you got a member of the channel, because you access as well. It will be in watch along format. So you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for reaction the entire movie. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got monthly Q and A's, behind the scenes footage to try to make it worth a while. So check out our support channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. If you enjoy this reaction, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Huge shout out to the team over at Prepper for helping me edit down these highlights for you guys here on YouTube. And with that all said and out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into Mad Max Fury Road. Here we go. My name is Max. My world is fire and blood. Why are you hurting these people? Get the oil, stupid. Oil wars. We are killing for gasoline. Gasoline. The world is actually running out of water. Rockatansky. Max Rockatansky. What? <laughs> Mankind has gone rogue, terrorizing itself. The earth is sour. Our bones are poison. Oh, wow. Life. So the world fell to, like, what, nuclear fell. war? It was hard to know who was more crazy. Me. Or everyone else. Alright, that's a vibe. Where are you? Oh. What in the world? Here they come again. Worming their way into the black matter of my brain. Help us, Max. You promised to help us. Mm. I tell myself. Oh. They can't touch me. <laughs> I mean, I guess in this landscape, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. All right, let's go. Obviously, I know this all came like first, but like right out of the gate, like I'm getting like twisted metal vibes. Or if you substituted Water World for Desert World. <laughs> Good God. I am the one who runs from both the living and the dead, hunted by scavengers, haunted by those I could not protect. Whoa. This movie's got a lot of style so far, man. A man reduced to a single instinct to survive. Oh, wow. It's like if you took Fallout and mixed it with Twisted Metal. That's what I'm getting right now. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? Well, shit. Snap, Max. Is that you? Where were you? Oh, wow. Interrupted by his own demons. Oh, God. Man, 
Man, these guys are so... I mean, it could be the color palette, but these guys are so fucking pale. Oh, God. <laughs> that was freaky, dude. Oh. Bah. Dude, look how pasty these dudes are. They never come out of that cave, do they? <laughs> what a crazy introduction to this, man. So his name is Max. Has that always been the case? That we follow a character named Max, or is it just this one specifically? Or maybe they're like covered in ash or some kind of powder or dust. Okay, it's a powder. Never mind. What in the... Dude, what is this? Oh man, he is fucked up. But decorated. Wow, man. Oh, I've seen I've seen images of this guy. Or at least the the mask. I've seen that face. This has such like a graphic novel come to life feel to it with the overall art direction and aesthetic. Once again, I salute my that's Furiosa. I am your redeemer. It is by my hand you will rise from the ashes of this world. So he's got like this religious cult thing brewing here, which would make sense in a world like this to kind of pull people together as well as hoard your own power. Oh, wow. That's all you get. Do not, my friends, become addicted to water. It will take hold of you, and you will resent its absence. Mm. I mean, let's be real. How do they survive, like, without the ability to, like, consistently stay hydrated? <laughs> like, you know? Because we're talking about people getting addicted to water, missing its absence and this kind of stuff, which is also in its own way, its own sort of control. Also with him talking about Valhalla and all this stuff, like this is his gift to his people as his, this figure, this savior. Signal guest town. Convoy's on its way. Good Lord, man. I, I love the color palette too. The saturation with everything as well, cause it also accentuates just how pale of fuck those guys are with that powder on them. It just everything just pops. I got a war boy running on empty. Hook up that full life. Hey, careful. It's a universal gun. Oh, that was his like stats, right? Cause I saw like O negative, they tattooed on his back along with a bunch of other stuff. Cause they just mentioned universal donor. How would they even know though, to be honest? I don't know, maybe we'll figure that out later. Cause we've rushed through a lot of stuff as we were setting the world up. Charlize in these last few years, like last decade even, has just skyrocketed to being like a crazy awesome action star, which is not at all a trajectory I imagined her going down like longer than that. Like if we go farther back than that. We're heading east. Gas town, bullet farm, just trying to piece together the world a little bit. Oh, whoa! <laughs> what the? Well, got gotta get your milk. She's going off road. 
into hostile territory. Why would you do that, Dad? Splendid! Angharad! Our babies will not be warlords. Where is she taking them? She didn't take them! They begged her to go! Come on, Granny! He had prime opportunity to blast his ass. Treason, betrayal, an Imperator gone rogue. An Imperator? Who? Furiosa. She took a lot of stuff from him, Morton Joe. What stuff? Breeders. He's prized breeders. He wants them back. Not a hand laid on them. Wait, her. what? His prized breeders? By my deeds, I honor him. V8. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, man. And absurd. It's my wheel. I'm driving. You're my Lancer. I just promoted myself. <laughs> Look at you. If you can't stand up, you can't do war. We take my blood back. We take my blood back and strap into the Lancer's perch. It's got a muzzle on it. It's a raging feral. That's right. High octane oh, crazy. What? Filling me up. Oh. If I'm gonna die. Oh, dude, his scars. Organic. He shoved his blood back. Right oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Turned him into his hood ornament. Dude, who's just like, I need my drum truck? Oh! Whoa! Dude, this is sick as fuck, dude. Hell yeah! Oh, wow. <laughs> Shouldn't we have the steering wheel attached? I don't know. I know I'm new to this world, but like, <laughs> seems like a necessity. But he's high on this blood, high on being looked at by his lord and High on the open seas. Tuscan Raiders? Oh god, what the what this rolling hedgehog car? No! We're good! We bang it! Oh! Hey, well, he missed the spikes at least, but the car got done. Yo! Oh! What are these spears, man? They're like detonating. That one has a saw on top of it. Jesus. Dude, the pyrotechnics, man. I don't know how much of this is practical, but like, anyway. Dude, like, Tom Hardy is just strapped to this dude's hood. <laughs> oh my God. Now that was a straight up harpoon, but there's like grenades, bombs of some sort. Attached to these these spears they're chucking. Oh whoa, oof. That was a clean ass shot. Oh, not clean enough. Wow. What the hell was that? Yo. Wow. What was that shit he like sprayed in his face and started like foaming at the mouth? Oh, whoa. Are these the, was that one of the, the, the breeders transferring cars? Man, this is just chaos. Oh, whoa. 
okay. That is Nicholas Holt. I was like, this guy looks just like Nicholas Holt, but I've been holding off and saying anything because I, I didn't want to be wrong and sound dumb as shit, but like, it's him. So I don't feel that bad now. Yo. Bye. Dude, you just got almost got a close ass shave there. Now we bring home the booty. Bring home the booty. Oh, wow. Be careful. We don't want to be challenging Emotep today. Oh my God, that's huge. I've never seen a sandstorm in real life. I don't know what it looks like, but my God, that's terrifying. I don't know, we got descent on the team now as we're heading into this storm. Oh wait, does her people not know that she's smuggling this cargo? This guy just jamming away. Dude, I can only imagine like just like the crazy shit that's probably in like the concept artist's portfolio working on this film. Not just the designs that they went with, but the designs maybe that they they worked through to get to some of the ones they landed upon. Oh, nope, not today. Well, he's gone. Oh gosh. Ah, oh. and there's lightning in here too. So there's the strong possibility that some of this on top of being sand is probably rock and glass. Oh my Lord, inside our sand torn, well, tornadoes. I love the visuals of this movie, man. Oh, she's. <laughs> what is he? Oh no, he's pouring his fuel out. He's going to... Yeah. What is that shit? Is it just paint? I live, I die. I live again. Oh wow. Well, she got away. Oh, what was that? Is his mind just shattered? Or is there like a, like a, here I am just pulling from other things, like a dune element where there's like a, a drug or something like that, that like maybe he's been exposed to that gives him visions and hallucinations or that is that just his own trauma? Cause I don't know, man, because we got that fucking spray can shit. We got all the crazy stuff they did with him back there before they made him a human blood bag. And why even does he need this guy's blood? I wonder if that's something I would know if I had seen like the or the original stuff or not. Oh, yep, that'll do it. Oh God, shit. Going back. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> He just cuts to Nicholas Holt being dragged around like a rag doll. Oh, she doesn't have her. Oh, nice. Hidden gun there. 
but she doesn't have her prosthetic on. Ah. Uh, oh, damn. Still had one in the chamber, though. <laughs> He's like, here you go. Here's your, here's your bullets. Going to the green place. What is your... Oh, wow. He's just gonna leave them there. Is he stuck with that? Yeah, it's got a fucking lock on it. What the hell? Is he out of gas? Or... Is he... Kill switches. Oh, yeah, okay. I set the sequence myself. This rig goes nowhere without me. Smart. You can get in. Not without them. I love how we just have this soundtrack in the background just looming in the distance. You want that thing off your face? <laughs> Deal. This guy will not give up. Persistent little thing. <laughs> he's not gonna hurt us he needs us why to bargain oh he'll hurt us all right do you think he's coming to the green place never he's a crazy smeg who eats schlanger those were words i understand <laughs> good you know what maybe uh behind you the gas town boys <laughs> Don't damage the goods. We just finished all the Die Hard films. Maybe we'll do this next. I was gonna do Rambo, but maybe I need to get some backstory on some of this shit. And there's the people eater himself. I'm coming to count the cost. <laughs> it just looks like he's aggressively scratching his back with a back scratcher. Oh wow. Hidden blade in the in the gear shift. What did he do? The tires aren't turning. Where even is he? He's in the crawl space. Yep, there he is. Still going at it. Maybe focus on the task at hand. Oh shit, he did it. Oh, whoa. <laughs> He's a lying old man. By his hand, we'll be lifted up. That's why we have his logo seen on our backs. Reading stuff, battle fodder. No, I am awaiting. You're an old man, battle fodder. Killing every woman, everything. We're not to blame. And who killed the world? Oh. Oh, well, yeah. I was like, it wasn't, never mind. I don't know why I thought that was death for this kid. What do I call you? Does it matter? Fine. When I yell fool, you drive out of here as fast as you can. <laughs> this is the sequence. One, one, two, one. Red, black, go. You have it? Nope. <laughs> nope, I don't. I need that again. Could you, could you go over that one more time? Oh, wow. You said a few vehicles in pursuit, maybe. We count three war parties. <laughs> we didn't ask for this level of heat. Oh, no. What timing. Any you guys ever played Motorstorm? Wild game. Also, something this is... Rem I just a lot of video games are coming to mind when it comes to this. Damn, right on time. Well, guess there's no deal here. Or was the plan to just stall and then 
basically force them into confrontation with their pursuers. Because she did tell him beforehand when I yell fool to just punch it. And again, it could just be contingencies for failure, just in case. Plan for success, plan for failure. Oh, whoa, look at that. I got his boat! I got the blood bag's boat! Good for you. <laughs> that shot is pretty metal, man. Whoa, that was sick. Wow, man. Oh, ho, 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 ho. she got that one. Well, hot damn. Create our own little sandstorm. Give us some cover. Maybe was was that what that was for? If or yeah, okay. I I don't know. I don't know what that was for. <laughs> hey, you got one. And another one down. We are altering the deal. Oh no, that was the. Fuel container, though, right? Yep. Well, shit. Running on limited supply now. I mean, it was always limited, but even more so now. No refueling without a stop. That's my child! My property! Yeah, nah. Oh, wow. I awaited. Oh, it's chrome. It's literally just chrome paint. Oh, you dumbass. Damn, man, the teamwork is real. Everybody's doing their part. Oh, okay. Whoo! That was real close. Tell him to turn the rig around. Did you see it? She went under the wheels. Wow. I hear her, like raspy ass breathing that didn't sound like him. Is she barely alive or I'm you know, fading out? Oh wow, that is wicked. Man, so many of these shots are just like could be wallpapers, man. I love the look of this movie. I got to drive a pursuit vehicle. For a while, even Larry and Barry stopped chewing on my windpipe. Who are Larry and Barry? <laughs> my mates. Larry and Barry. Oh my god. If they don't get me, then the night fever's will. Oh, that's what the transfusions are to help with. Well, we've only got four for big boy here, so he's all but useless. But I am still four. can squirt off this little pinky around tree 29 times. The change from the stark orange to this gloomy blue. Them lit up by that flame. Again, the the choice of color. Oh, oh. Hey, mud though, though. That's like a sign of water. Well, I mean, there's shit. I mean, there's water everywhere. Does it rain? I mean, I would assume it maybe does, but maybe it's a rarity. Oh, whoa! <laughs> wow. See what everybody else is bathed in blue, except you have these pockets of light, and just this this guitar dude is just popping with that red. Hey, Joe! Boss! Oh, she, she is, she is still alive. Careful! Protect the assets! 
Just one angry shot. Was this tooth a bullet? Another oh my God. Could have been your viable human. Was it a male? Yeah, he won Alpha Prime. Oh, wow. Well, she was alive. She's not now. I mean, obviously, there's a chance he could have done that in a way that she wouldn't. But I don't trust that in this world with what we are working with. This high ground, just beyond that thing. He means the tree. Yeah, tree. <laughs> Beyond that thing. You've got two left. Uh, one now. Don't breathe. Oh God damn! Bye bye light. I have a flare. I am holding a flare. Close. It's right in front of your eyes. Oh nope, he's done. Ooh, got blinded by the shrapnel. Fire the scales of <laughs> see, see, see. Don't they know they're shooting at us? He doesn't give a shit, man. Yeah, man, this fucking little tree. Held out just enough. You need to take the war rig off a click down the track. What if you're not back by the time the engines are cooled? Why well, you keep moving? Hmm. Oh, you, whoa. Okay, he made it back. No, they got, they got a lot more bullets now. And a steering wheel, a proper one. Oh, whoa, what? The fuck? It's okay. Sleep. Get some rest. Oh my goodness, man. Dunes is as far as the eye can see. How do you know this place even exists? I was born there. So why'd you leave? I was taken as a child. I used to say it's still there, though. He's gonna eat it. Yep. <laughs> oh, whoa, what the fuck? That's bait. Stay in the rig. I am the daughter of Mary Jobasa. My clan was Swaddle Dog. Oh, whoa, that's just wicked looking in general. The sand kicking off of that, that tire. This is our Furiosa. Mm. How long has it been? 7,000 days, plus the ones I don't remember. What happened to your mother? She died on the third day. Mm. Where did you find such creatures? So soft. This one has all her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for them to see it. Say what? Home. It's, the green place. It's, 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 But if you came from the west. It's gone, isn't it? You passed it. The crows. Oh. That creepy place with all the crows. The soil. We had to get out. We had no water. And the water was filth. It was poisoned. It was sour. And then the crows came. The many mothers. We're the only ones left. Wow. That's what oh, you call wow. a satellite. They used to bounce messages across the earth. Mm. Take a peek. Seeds. These are from home. Heirlooms. The real thing. I plant one every chance I get. Wow, so many different kinds. Trees, flowers, fruit. Back then, everyone had their fill. Back then, there was no need to snap anybody. Well, kinda. <laughs> Unless we're talking about their place and not the world before we leave the rig here and load the motorcycles up with as much as we can we can maybe ride for 160 days you know hope is a mistake mm. if you can't fix what's broken you'll uh, you'll go and say speaking from experience Where are you next? Where are you next? 
Citadel. What's there to find at the Citadel? To take it. I suggest we go back the same way we came, through the canyon. It's open, we know that, right? He brought all his war parties through. So we take the war rig and we charge it right through the middle of them. We can decouple the tanker at the pass, shut it off behind us. Couple. <laughs> if we can block the pass, it'll be easy. All that's left are his war pups. And war boys too sick to fight. That's a good point. He did take pretty much everybody worth a shit out on this little uh little mission but i guarantee you that 160 days ride that way there's nothing but salt at least that way you know we might be able to together no come across some kind of redemption let's go <laughs> It's a sprawl to God, that guy's foot. That's him. Why are going back? Does he have a gas mask on his dick? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Time to start playing. What are you doing? Praying to who? Anyone that's listening? <laughs> Everybody. Here we go, girls. Let's go, Grandma. E God. <laughs> He's double fisting it. So what's the difference in spitting it into it than just shooting it into it from the source to begin with? Oh God. Hey man, thank goodness for those raised Oh, well, not in that case. I was going to thank goodness for those raised frames. Oh my God, that hook almost got her ass. Oh, we lost another one. Jesus. Oh. What in the world? The cinematography in this movie has so much personality. Oh! I think she's hurt. Oh, our seeds. And we're just losing one after the other. Nice. Ooh. And then, oh my. Nice. Dude, I'm done with these slipknot motherfuckers, man. They, oh my God, he's still got a melted baby thing on the back of his head. Damn. Sorry, buddy, you're getting sandwiched. And you're done. Oh, wow. <laughs> Knocked his dumb ass out. Engine one's good. And when he had we'll pulled that. Uh, cross bolt out of it. Oh, 
When he pulled that crossbow bolt out of his hand, he should have just in jabbed it in the guy's neck while he was unconscious. He would have avoided this situation. Good God, man. We got to do something about these flamethrowers. Oh, well, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. She's not going to see it through and he's going to have to... <laughs> hey, make some use out of that big old foot, dude. Not gonna lie, that would probably be fun dangling around on those rods like that. Just swinging around. <laughs> Holy shit. And again, this guy on the guitar, completely unfazed. Just jamming away. Probably can't even hear any of this shit being that close to the speakers, man. But what I was going to say, like, with his whole thing with these flashes of whatever happened in his past, and she just doing this, and her having gotten stabbed like that, he's probably going to have to find his own redemption by finishing what she started. I don't think she's going to make it the whole way there. I'm going to need you to drive. I'll get him out of our way. Or she's gonna sacrifice herself <laughs> what the fuck he's just Got his guitar back and instantly started going back to it, man. Guy's living his best life up there. Yeah, she's just fed up with all this insanity and just wants to go back. Why didn't you shoot him? I mean, if you didn't have bullets, that's one thing, but like announcing yourself like that wasn't smart either. Jeez. Oh my God. What is on his chin anyway? Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Remember me? Oh, whoa, holy shit. When you're across safe, I'll jam the throttle and follow you. He's not coming. He finally got his moment. And I like how that was coinciding once you realized what was going on. Not the guitar guy, no! He's the best character in this whole movie, man. But I like how like we saw like their thing when somebody passes, like it's like they're reaching out and ca uh, grasping the spirit and bringing it back to their heart. We saw her do that as he was doing the witness me, kind of bringing together their, their ideals in, in that moment. Thought that was nice. He's gonna become a blood bag again. Baby, okay, Max. My name is Max. Mm -hmm. His name is Max, and he's a little mad, as we can tell. And they're also in his car, so no one's going to be none the wiser, at least until they get a close, yeah, inspection. It's Immortan Joe. There are Joe in there! <laughs> they're like, fuck yeah! We're free! She's okay. I honestly thought she was gonna end this movie dead. I mean, it's not over yet, but. 
Now they shall ascend and take their rightful place. Aww. Now, we probably shouldn't just waste it, but you know, it's nice. It's a nice little reward for the people for today. He's gone. Where must we go? We who wander this wasteland in search of our better selves. The first history man. That movie was a wicked and wild ride. Like almost from the get go, are we just kind of just thrown in the heat of it all? Uh, it didn't really take a lot of time to ramp up. We just got really thrown into the mix of it. Well, I don't know, like obviously, cause this is my first Mad Max film. I don't know if some of the things that were thrown around throughout here, like terminology and certain things are alluded to and or callbacks to, or something that is something that was already set up in the original films or not. That said, I do appreciate that this movie didn't feel the need to just sit back and over explain everything. I'm honestly, I've gotten to the point at, with like films these days where I'm just like, just let us accept the world for what it is. Like, do I have questions? Sure. Do I need the answers? Not necessarily. I don't, I think as far as what we got and as far as what we needed for the plot and the story that we are witnessing in a party to, we got everything that we needed for the most part. Everything else I think is just supplementary. Like would I love to know more? about what exactly happened to him. We got flashes and stuff like that. Obviously there was this allusion to Furiosa's history with this man this that is running this cult, that is uh, hoarding all of these women who is trying to breed more warlords. They have a past, she, they have a history, and this was her way of kind of getting back at that. And she was also trying to kind of get, like, you know, get these women back to the this paradise she remembers from her childhood but unfortunately the reality of the situation was that that no longer existed that was like many things in this world just a remnant of the past that is no longer here and once that realization kind of settles in you know max in this situation also kind of running from himself and his own pain his own failings and stuff like that both of them finding through this trek this skirmish this mission their own sense of redemption by helping making a better place for these women, for this just community in general, by taking out these people who are abusing their power, hoarding resources, and doing just all this nasty ass shit, man. So at the end of the day, it became a story about both of these characters pulling themselves out of the situation and helping others along the way as well. And it was really interesting. Nicholas Holt's character as well, coming from one of those people that had been radicalized, that grew up in this place where death, your service and all this stuff was like a, was a privilege. And then every step of the way, you know, he failed what three times. And then every time he was just like, what am I worth? What does that mean? You know, every time he tried to do something in the name of this guy to, for glory, to have a righteous and furious death that would send his soul to Valhalla, that would be his, source and escape from this world into paradise you know that's what they were sold just so that they could do whatever this guy asks it's so manipulative it's so it's also really interesting but then at the end of the day thanks to all of his failures he came out on the other side of this you know he found companionship he found something to fight for that was more than just somebody else's selfishness and also something to live for as well. But in the end, he finally did have to do what he had been trying to do up until this point, but for something actually worthwhile and better, he sacrificed himself so they could get away instead. It just, uh, his whole journey throughout this was wicked and wild. And honestly, one of my favorite bits of the film. This movie has such a distinctive personality to it. I mentioned it throughout the reaction and stuff like that. The way that the action is filmed, the way they decide when and where to cut, as well as what to keep out of focus and in frame. You know, a lot of it felt like, and especially with these zoom in, zoom outs, punch pulls, and these dolly shots, and man, like the way that we use perspective, a lot of it feels like 
were creating a living graphic novel. So much of this just feels so artistically driven with this vision in mind. And I, I, I mean, it's, I don't know exactly what they were trying to execute, but what they did succeed and what they did achieve here, I find so appealing. Like from the color palettes, again, to the stylized way that every sequence is brought to life in camera. I love it. Again, the use of color throughout this movie and as well as the saturation that makes all of those colors pop, everything is so vibrant and so rich. Despite the bleak, metal-mashed insanity that this world is, this apocalyptic world that has just fallen apart, as much as it is just this, this trash heap, they make it look so appealing and just wild. Like, the, like while it's got this post-apocalyptic vibe to it all, the insanity and the designs and the absurdity of these, these, uh, the, what do you want to even call them? These different factions. Like, the, we got a truck dedicated to this ridiculous speaker system and that guy on the guitar. We had a drum truck. The design work across the board for all of these characters. Every character had a look and was so distinctive and detailed and just kind of sells the idea and the world a little bit. Like, there's just little bits you can glean into the world just from the way these characters are kind of brought to life and presented. There's a lot of storytelling in the character designs that I really, really appreciate. But not on top of that, but just the creativity in these vehicular monstrosities, these Frankenstein vehicles that they crafted together in this film. Like, it's just like, again, like there's so much variety across the board, not just with the character aesthetics, but with the vehicles, the settings as well. Well, not so much the settings, though, despite being in this wasteland of just open deserts, no life. We still found a way to make each one of these locations feel very distinctive, especially with that mud pit. The sandstorm going inside of that, those fucking tornadoes, the lightning, all of that, that was wild. And then we have that waste with the crows and learning the fact that the water soiled and that's actually the home that she was trying to get them there too. It's just like, Oh my God, there's so many great little moments in this and the way they just, I don't know. I think more than even the story and the action, the the visual element of this movie is the thing that I'm taking away from it the most is the, the look and the style that this movie had. Just fascinating. And the sound design and the, or, the, the score. Everything about this was just fun. You know, I don't know how much this represents the films that came before it, you know, barring, you know, the advances in technology, cinematography, all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure if the overall uh, feeling vibe and the, other than the aesthetic itself and the setting, I'm not sure how much this represents what came before. I'm just very curious. I don't know if they shed any more light on the, just the world in general, you know, or give us more context for certain elements or if they are just their own thing as well. I don't really know. But all in all... In just the little bit that we got here, I, I do want to call out that I do think Tom Hardy did a really good job, though. I think he wasn't the focus, obviously, in this. He very much so didn't have, like, a huge, hugely complex character. He was just thrown in some really ridiculous situations. But Charlize does a phenomenal job in this, just emoting. She gives these looks that tells a lot without saying anything. And I, I just loved the scene work with with her when like she's given these moments to just take everything in and then return that just through expression. But this movie was wicked. It was wild. It was weird. And I had a blast from beginning to end. And I'm just curious if you guys would be interested in me watching those previous films. So let me know in the comments if that's something you would be interested in. But for now, I would love to hear from you all. What did you think of this movie? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for Gummy Marvel Channel, get you access as well. Over there is also where you can put forth your own movie suggestions and then vote in future polls. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Sherritt, Ryan, Karen, York, Horace, Scott, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey L., Jake and Charles, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Justin Smith. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. That's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.